where is everyone? Oh, maybe they're outside. Well, hey, look at this, a big knife! Ah! <laughs> the right size, the right shape. Oh, and it's all shiny. Jay! Jay! Oh, oh no, Jay, <gasps> Jay! What's the matter? No. What have I done? What are you doing, Jay? The tweenies. Everybody remembers the tweenies, right? If you grew up in the UK in the early 2000s especially, you are probably aware of Bella, Fizz, Milo and Jake, the playgroup they attended, all the antics they got up to. They were everywhere in the early years of the new millennium. They were so prolific in fact, they made hundreds of episodes in the span of just a few years, but did you know they also made a series of spin-off shorts called Be Safe with the Tweenies? Now, like any children's educational thing, this was looking at things that obviously to us adults are really common sense. Well, to most of you anyway. And just educating children on how to be safe with those things. It's all the basics like being safe around electricity, being safe around matches. 26 of these five minute shorts were made, but did you know one of them for the longest time was considered lost media? That's right, a show as prolific as the tweenies, you know, that has become one of the UK's biggest cultural exports for preschool children in the last 20 years had lost media. And that, in fact, is a one episode of this Be Safe series, which centered around knives. Because, you know, if I want to educate myself or my children on what to be safe around, I'm going to get the tweenies to teach them about knives. As I said, this was lost for a long time because it was apparently banned from being broadcast. So as far as I'm aware, this never made it to air because this series ran between 2002 and 2009. And throughout all of that time, the knives installment never actually aired. However, it has resurfaced on the internet. We have to give props to Galaxy Vault 2, who's uploaded the uh, the full five minute episode onto YouTube. So what I thought we'd do, because we like a bit of lost media on this channel, I thought let's watch this together and just see how the tweenies can educate us on how to be safe around knives. <laughs> I've got to say, anytime any children's thing says, It's cool to be safe, guys. It's so cool. It automatically becomes uncool. And I think even your five-year-old could tell you that. Be safe with the tweenies. Knives. He says it. So positively, let's just, can we, can we run that back? One more time, please, Jake, one more time. Be safe with the tweenies. Knives! <laughs> just to get you really excited for the day. So as you can see, it begins with the tweenies up to their normal antics. They're putting on a play about the King Arthur story. Milo's King Arthur because of course he is. You are the King of England. Yeah, yeah. King Arthur Rooney! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo, bravo. <laughs> bravo, says Doodles, bravo. Clearly Oscar performances in the making. Huey, I'm back from the dentist. He came back from the dentist. That boy is way too happy about coming back from the dentist. Do you remember what it was like? You remember the trauma? So he finally comes back to the play group and Milo says, don't worry, mate, we're going to do the play again and all that. He begins to explain the whole story of King Arthur. We're knights from the olden days. Knights. It's our job to fight monsters. <gasps> Watch me do battle with this scary one-legged creature with oh. loads of eyes. Okay. Yeah, 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 I tolerate a lot of stuff, okay? A lot of stuff in children's TV. But don't you dare, don't you dare come after the tweeny clock. That thing is the gospel. It's sacred. Can I have a go, Milo? Of course you can, Jake. Oh, great. Just get yourself a sword. Oh, but I couldn't find yeah. one in the toy box. Can't I borrow yours? Oh, sorry, mate. No, no. This sword can only be used by the true King Arthur. Oh. And that's me. <laughs> oh, sure, Milo, man. He was always like this, wasn't he? This can only be used by me. It's mine. It's me. He was, let's face it, he was that child. We all know the one. Man. Whoa, hang on a minute. Is this a kitchen? I swear in the main Tweenies TV series, we never saw the kitchen, or at least I don't remember seeing the kitchen. This is like a whole new room. It's an expansion to the law. Now, what would make a good pretend sword? Uh, oh, this fly ring pan's got a handle. Oh, but it's too big. 
Mm. Oh, what about this wooden spoon? Oh, it's the right size. Oh, but it's the wrong shape. Go with the spoon, Jake. Go with the spoon. Oh, what else is there? Uh, <gasps> hey, look at this, a big knife. Ah! The right size, the right shape. Oh, and it's all shiny, like a real sword. <gasps> Just what I want. There's something, I know this is the whole point of the whole short, but something about Jake from the Tweenies, a character who's meant to be like, what, three years old, w waving a knife around, saying how cool and shiny it is, is it's quite disturbing. Maybe the BBC were right to, to not let this broadcast. What are you doing, my lad? Oh, fighting this monster. Oh, of course, Bella came in with that snide term. Wasn't Bella? She was just, she was awful, wasn't she? She had that snarkiness about her. And that's why, like, you know, Fizz is clearly the best one. She is the best one. There's a reason why I've had a doll of her since I was four years old. Because she's the best. She's the only one who had her own standalone DVD and VHS release. None of the other characters got that. Just saying. Hi. <laughs> Oh no, Jake, Jake! What's the matter? Oh. What have I done? What are you doing, Jake? What? Put the knife down. What? That's not a toy. Put it down! Put it down! Put it down right now! I love the level of fear they all have when he when he comes in. Even Doodles is getting in on the action, being like, Whoa, Jake, man, Jake, just... Oh, that's a knife. Put the knife down, Jake. Why do I sound like Discount Scooby-Doo doing that? E Jesus. Despite the fact that Jake, yes, he's meant to be like three, and the others are, I think, like meant to be four, so there's only like a year or less than a year's difference, yet they're all very clearly aware of the present danger here. Judy, <laughs> Judy can't believe it either. She's like, oh, my God, I'm going to gonna have to call the police. It's going to... We're gonna have to call the police. What have I done? What are you doing, Jake? What? Put the knife down. What? That's not a toy. <laughs> it's literally like police investigation. Put the knife down, Jake. Just no one will, no one will get hurt. Just put, put the knife down and give the money back. She also like has her suspicions, doesn't she? She's like, Jake, what are you doing with that? So we head back to the kitchen, and Judy, you know, doesn't quite reprimand him. Just knows that he was a bit innocent and. Starts explaining why knives are dangerous. You know the you know the sharp bit, the bit that will hurt. And you know some of you might say, "Oh, come on, this is like super obvious, even for kids." But you know, I'm sure for really little kids who might, who genuinely aren't aware, this is probably a good message to tell. I'll put it back in here, out of harm's way. Well, I Whoa! What is that? Uh, maybe it should. Did that go out of fashion? I have never seen a chopping board. <laughs> Well, you can slide the knife into it like that. It's not exactly safe, though. You know, we're, considering this is a playgroup where, for some reason, the children are allowed to roam in the kitchen. I'm pretty sure these days that violates all kinds of, like, child safety protection or health and safety. But in this universe, they can just roam in the kitchen. You want a sandwich? Go and make one yourself. <laughs> well, I promise never to touch a knife again, Judy. And then he turned to a life of crime. God damn it, Jake. God damn it! Uh, you can have my sword now. Uh, I don't think King Arthur needs one. I don't think King Arthur needs his... Yes, the, the legend sword in the stone. My, it doesn't need one. Doesn't need the sword. It's fun to play with your friends every day. You want to make it last forever. But keep in your head what the queen is said. Then we'll all play safe together. Yes, we'll all play safe together. <laughs> what? 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 Why are we? We're saying we're singing about knives with the most upbeat, you know, sounding production ever. Knives, knives, knives. What? Knives, 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 knives. knives, knives. Be safe for the rest of your lives. <laughs> oh, I can't. Knives are all shiny. They look really cool. For the record. They are really shiny. They're not cool. But don't be mistaken. Don't you be fooled. Knives are sharp and not for play. Leave them alone. <laughs> the way he waves that in, he's like, ah, I'm gonna kill you all. And so it ends. And I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I get what this was going for. It's just trying to teach a lesson about not to play with knives, not to play with, I guess, sharp objects generally. 
But the execution of this is just hilarious. And I know I'm watching this from the standpoint of an adult. Leaving knives around, yes, adults do that. But you shouldn't. If this is meant to be a proper playgroup, you know, you don't let the tots you're looking after wonder in the kitchen. Is Was that Max? Is that why Max didn't appear in this episode? Was that you, Max? But yeah, I mean, this was 2002. Times were different. And, you know, as I said, it's claimed that it wasn't allowed to air because of the, well, just the mere presence of knives. They maybe thought that kids might be inspired to grab one themselves because I guess in that sense, you know, using it as a sword. The point is made that they are shiny, they are sharp, just like a sword is, but... Yeah, for whatever reason, this wasn't broadcast back in 2002. But I'm glad it's no longer lost media. Again, props to Galaxy Vault 2 for uploading this to YouTube. It's increasingly hard to preserve lost media of any kind over the past, you know, 50 or so years or television's history. So even when we get these little glimmers through things like this with Be Safe with the Tweenies, that's a win for the preservationists, absolutely. So yeah, what a what a whirlwind that was. Well, I hope you, we've all learned now that we have to be safe around knives. And if I catch you, if I catch you waving that knife round. I'm not just going to call the police. I'm going to take that knife off you and put it back into the chopping board, just like any self-respecting adult should. But that is all for this video. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe as well. And if there's any other bits of, you know, children's TV that you think are a bit odd or a bit quirky, stand out from the norm, then let me know in the comments because this is quite fun to talk about. I'd be happy to talk about other stuff as well, should it come up. But in the meantime, I've been Adam Martin from AMTV. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show. And a special thank you to Macra, Ethan Carberry Holt, Bruce Stanton, Globe of Reviews, Derek Chambers, Sean Nock, Dodd Khan, Liam Domain, Trev Hughes, AJ Mac200017, Deck KP20, Simon Harrison, and Evan Hart38 our AMTV staff members.